Hey, what's going on guys? It's DJ Baseball here, back here again with another video. Got a little new setup going for you guys today. Got a little close-up of my beautiful face. Got my computer right here, so if I look down, check out all my notes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be talking about the signings of Keigel and Kimbrell, which everyone's been waiting for. Waiting for them to sign if they're going to sit out the whole year. I didn't think so. I thought they'd eventually sign, and they did. So we're just going to be talking about uh, what each team gained from getting them, and uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Chicago Cubs and Craig Kimbrell. So Steve Cichek has been doing the majority of all the saves this year. He's got a 1-2 and two record with an ERA of 3.12, with a total number of saves around 6. Um, it was a solid fill-in for, for them for the time being, but it wasn't going to work for them for a for the long haul. He's a great setup guy. He's got weird stuff. It's funky, comes at you at an angle. Um, but Kimbrell is just gonna give them a whole another element to their to their pen. Um, and I can see them definitely having a deep postseason run this year because of Kimbrell. Without that, they didn't really have much because there's um blinking on his name now. Let me I got it on. Let's see, Cubs, depth chart, there it is, blanking on his name, Carson Edwards, not Carson Edwards, Carl Edwards, Carl Edwards, not Carson Edwards, Carl Edwards, he's filthy, but with his new little, you know, he got he, that little toe tap thing that the Cubs and the Nats had to deal with, um, he hasn't been the same. His relief, like, he's just hasn't been the same. So, since they, he hasn't been able to pitch, they really needed someone, and they got that someone with uh, Craig Kimbrell, for sure. Now we're going to bounce over to the Atlanta Braves. This is going to be the main chunk of the video here. The Kimbrell signing was pretty self-explanatory. They just needed a closer, and they got that. Now, for the Braves, they've been struggling. Ex not struggling as a team, but struggling with their starting pitching. They got Mike fulton I can't say his name, Fulty, you know Fulty. Um, he's only one at five this year, and he was an all-star last year. He was absolutely filthy for them. He's been struggling really bad. He's got an ERA of 5.89, with only 37 strikeouts and a whip of 1.26. He's not the same as last year. He came, started this year a little bit late with that little elbow thing he had going on. But he hasn't been the same pitcher at all. Julio Tehran has definitely improved since last year. Excuse me. He's been struggling. Um, he's He's been struggling in the most recent years. But this year he's got a 3.28 ERA with 69 strikeouts and a whip of 1.26. So that's definitely big for them that he's pitching better. Max Fried, 7-3 with a 3.68 and 59 strikeouts and a whip of 1.3. Definitely solid, you know, those middle reliever guys, him and Tehran, you know, three and four, whatever you want to call them. Um, they've been, they've been solid. They've been solid for him, but not, they don't have, they didn't have that ace they were looking for. Uh, Kevin Gosman has been absolutely terrible this year with a two and five record with a 6.15 ERA, 60 strikeouts and a whip of 1.47. Absolutely terrible. Terrible. They're one bright spot this year on for their uh, starting rotation was Mike Soroka. He's 6-1 with 1.41 ERA and 51 strikeouts and a whip of under under 1 with a .91 e uh, whip. Sorry. That's insane. The kid's 21. He's pitching out of his mind. But also, he's 21. He's going to... He's gonna Something's going to happen. He's going to get hit around one time. He's going to start understanding. People are going to figure him out. They needed that ace. He wasn't the ace. Maybe a nice solid two, and then in the future, definitely an ace. But they needed something, and that's where Keiko comes in. It gives them such a huge boost. Two things are going to go to ha are going to happen. Uh, one of the t one or these two things are going to happen to their to their rotation. Either one of them. Um, Guessing Kevin Gosman is either going to get sent down or get put in the bullpen. I think he's going to get put, put in the bullpen, and then they're going to send someone down from there or whatever. 
Um, he's just, he's not a great pitcher, but he's not a terrible pitcher. This is not the Kevin Gosman we all know. He's going to pitch better. We've seen him pitch better. He'll be a solid late reliever, or long reliever, excuse me, in that pen if he can figure it out. Um, but what Keiko gives this team is that ace. They're going to have a chance to fight out for the for the, the NL East here against the Phillies, and then the Nats are actually doing better now. Um, they're stepping it up, and even the Mets. The East is so packed with teams that you need a star-studded roster to be, to be able to win that division. And Keiko gives them that chance because they have a lineup that can put the ball out of the park, put runs on the board. They just needed those pitch that pitching. And I think Keiko... Keiko's pretty much your number one. Then you got Mike Soroka. And then if Fulte can figure it out, and then you got Julio, Tehran, and Max Fried. Freed Fried. That is a great rotation, in my opinion. Great rotation. And if they expect to win the division, they needed to sign someone like him or trade for someone like him, and they got it. They got what they needed. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I spent probably about an hour or so doing some research. Maybe not an hour, maybe half an hour. But I'm, I'm enjoying these baseball-related videos. Um, I know I don't have all those flashy things that pop up on the screen with their ERAs and things like that. I'm still recording off my iPhone, man. You know, if you want me to get to that point to be able to do that, subscribe, comment, tell me things you want to see, make my channel grow, bring in that money, even though I'm not doing this for the money, but for me to be able to do those things, I need more support and stuff like that for that to happen to get those great quality videos. I'm really trying here. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm DJ Baseball, and I'm out. Peace.